Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2018 Volkswagen Golf GTI, we're gonna be taking a look at the Thule Helium Pro bike rack. So this rack can hold up to a total of two bikes. However, if you need to carry an additional one, there's a three bike version available as well. So one of the really big questions we get asked in regards to hitch mounted bike racks is if you're still gonna be able to have full access to your GTI's hatch. Now this one does fold down out of the way and allows us to do that. Really straightforward. Let's move down here to this lever, lift up on it. And that swings down. And that's gonna give us more than enough room to get anything we might need in and out of the back. Now whenever you're done, it's just as easy. We'll close up our hatch and fold this back into the upright position. So something that really sets this rack apart from many of the others is it's made from aluminum. So it's extremely lightweight, easy to handle. If you do ever take it out of the back of your Volkswagen, you're gonna be able to store it easily, even up on the top shelf if you wanted to. And since aluminum don't rust, you're not gonna to have to worry about any corrosion issues either. One of the things I really like about this rack is how simple it's going to be to use and how easy it is to function. Everything's integrated, really easy to get to and straightforward. So the rack is gonna hold our bike down in three spots. So we're gonna have two straps here along the top tube and a strap down here, which acts as a anti-sway strap. And what that's gonna do is help prevent that side-to-side -side movement as we're going down the road. That way we don't have to worry about our bikes banging into each other. Something that's pretty cool too is it's gonna have an integrated lock. So you pull this out of the rack it loops over your bikes and plugs into right here. So that gives you a little more peace of mind, especially if you stop at a restaurant or gas station, tour from the trails, you're not gonna have to constantly peek outside to make sure no one ran off with your bikes. With that being said, let's go ahead and get our bike out of the way so we can take a better look at the rack itself. All we have to do is push these tabs, these straps lift up, And the same deal down here for this sway strap. Then we're able to easily pull our bike off. And something that's pretty cool is the arms aren't going to be super wide. And so it's gonna be really easy to get your bike off. Some of those wider racks that have the wider arms tend to be a little more tricky. You gotta to have to kind of work that bike off. And that's really not the case with this one. So the cradle here where our bike's frame is going to sit is somewhat adjustable and that's going to accommodate different shapes and sizes of frames. And it's also going to have a really soft rubber material on it. We're going to have that same material on the bottom of the strap. That way you don't have to worry about your bike's paint getting scratched or damaged. I do recommend just to keep everything together whenever you're not using the rack, just to pop them straps back in place. Whenever we do have our rack on our Volkswagen, it is going to extend the overall length of it. And this is pretty compact, so probably not a huge deal, but something you definitely want to keep in mind if you're pulling into your garage or maybe even a tight parking spot. To figure out exactly how much, I'll measure from the hatch here to the very edge of the rack. And it looks like it's going to be about 35 inches. So if this does take up too much space, we can actually fold the arms down to make it more compact. And we'll do that by lifting up the lever. You simply just push all the way down. And in this position, I'll go from that same point on our hatch to the very end. Looks like it's gonna be right at 20 and a half. So it frees up quite a bit of space. Definitely don't see this giving you any issues if you do go to pull in your garage or that tight spot. So the rack, is going to work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Volkswagen. But it's also capable of working with the larger two inch by two inch receiver tube openings. So pretty cool if you happen to have another vehicle in the household with that different size hitch, chances are pretty good this is gonna work with it. It's gonna have this integrated hitch pin, which we kind of talked about earlier. So you're not gonna have to worry about picking one up separately or keeping track of your hitch pin and it's also going to have a knob here and when you tighten this down it's going to eliminate any play or rattle here in the connection point that way when you're hitting bumps 
the rack isn't bouncing around, and that's just gonna keep the ride inside of your GTI much more quiet. So at the end of the day, a really functional and easy to use rack that should last a long time. And in my opinion, I think it's gonna look pretty good on the back of the GTI. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Helium Pro Bike Rack on our 2018 Volkswagen Golf GTI.